together, we are sitting here today um, to watch a little piece, a little next step happening. And what is this next step actually? So we as BioNTech, we are, we are bringing mRNA manufacturing, a new technology actually that helped uh, vaccinate billions of people um, in the pandemic. So we are bringing this technology to Africa. So what's happening today is what you will see a little bit later when the big plane is touching down. It will have on board six containers. So six ISO size shipping container things that you can build together into like a big building block. And this building block we call a biontainer. What is it? It is a modular clean room facility. And in these clean rooms, there will be mRNA technology to produce mRNA. So to make the drug substance, to formulate it, and uh, it's, it's scalable, so you can make many of those actually. And it's very flexible because you can move it anywhere. So the idea was when we invented this, this has never been done in that sense. So there were clean rooms around, there were modules around, there were bio processes around, but nobody ever put this really together into this form because with these biotainers, with two of these things, uh, you can make 50 to 100 million doses of vaccine per year. So this is a sizable amount that we will bring into the country, the technology that we will bring right now. It's not only vaccines, it cannot only do vaccines, it can do basically any mRNA therapeutic or vaccine that will come in the future. So for example, as BioNTech, we just started a malaria trial in, in a phase one clinical trial. We are about to start a tuberculosis trial. So these are the things, if they get approved, that could, we could produce in these biotainers. Uh, but eventually you can also think about uh, cancer therapies that we are developing and that are being developed to produce in, in these biotainers. So basically it's a production site for mRNA. As I said before, it's scalable. So if you need more capacity, you can add these building blocks. It's a little bit like Lego bricks, actually. And um, uh, they, are, they are mobile, yeah? You can put them on ships, you can put them on planes. So, but we said we have to have a pioneer country, actually, right now. So this is the first station in Africa. So we said, like, we all gather together. We built this in Rwanda, get, the pro get this first outside of Germany biotainer up and running. Uh, and then, then we will start building potentially a network. But now this picture of like getting, touching down in Africa and getting the biotainer out of the plane. So this was really one of my dreams. So I'm, I'm, I'm happy and very glad you're all here. We can celebrate this together. It's the first step of many steps, but it's an important step. So thank you for being here. And there's many, many challenges that need to be overcome. So a, a big thank you to our team. So we cannot do this alone. It's a joint effort and I'm really glad that all the important people and teams are actually here today. Safely. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you very much. This transformation in just three years is remarkable. Thank you so much for all scientists that are working hard to make these things happen. Should also clap for you. Um, because it's very, very important. Bringing the solution to the problem where it is, is also important. And it doesn't happen by chance. Scientists don't just go by chance somewhere. It's because there's a leadership that will go, discuss, negotiate, work with people who understand the issue. Then something like this happens. So I'd want to really uh, mention this, uh, especially uh, given that Rwanda, with His Excellency, our president, has been very, very uh, um, following this uh, very closely from day one. Uh, I'm sure um, uh, most of you, especially Mauro and others, will tell more about uh, how the leadership doesn't only look at the policies, but also look back where the science, the data is coming from and uh, approaching it from our top leadership into implementation is also a motivation to all scientists across the world that uh, we can work as scientists, as leadership to, for our community to benefit. What this project is going to, to bring us in our education sector, and I'm glad Minister of State is here, um, because another area where we were struggling to, to bring solutions to our problems is in teaching and education and research. Again, using the true number of statistics that this continent contributes only 2% of the scientific output. So 
especially clinical trials, only 2%. With all the disease burden that we have here, infectious and non-infectious diseases that are preventable, sometimes with vaccines and therapeutics, having this, um, this setup, this partnership, is going to help close that big gap from 2% maybe to 10% or 20% of research scientific output from here, from Africa, from Rwanda. Because these young people, scientists, these young people we take to schools every morning should be able to bring the next vaccine, the next therapeutics uh, with you or without us because you have show them how it works, I've showed them how this modular uh, mRNA vaccine or therapeutics or the solutions are made from phase one, phase two, phase three, phase four. So by teaching people, you're actually saving the world. So I see a lot of um, benefits from our education sector, from our research, from our science communities. And as we say, there's no limit in science, there's no border we see an opportunity to stop those diseases, then increase the life expectancy of our people, being productive, so that our economy also can go and improve, and take even uh, Minister Ozier will be happy with, uh, with that as Minister of Finance and Economy, because health and economy, they are always together. Whenever economy is, health is affected, the economy is affected. So preventing diseases, treating diseases and investment something we can do here in Rwanda that can also help our neighbors or beyond or something we can do in Senegal in South Africa in the other continent part of the continents that can help people uh, in Rwanda or beyond.